Okay, today we're gonna to be reviewing the Yakima Hangover 6. Make sure to stay till the end because that's where I have all of the pros and cons. But first, we're gonna start off with the basics. Yakima built this rack for one purpose and that's to haul a ton of bikes. I've put over a thousand miles on this and I bought it for about a thousand dollars. So it's just under a thousand dollars. I do have an Amazon link down below so you guys can check that out. Let's move on to the specs. As far as dimensions go, check that out on their website. But what I'm gonna get into is really the particulars and what really matters to you guys. So I'm gonna go over the practical specs. How far does my bike hang out from the vehicle? How far the rack comes off of your trailer hitch? How high it is off the ground? And how high a bike will stand off the ground? The height from the bottom of the rack till the ground is 15 and a half inches. The trailer hitch mount, basically your receiver, to the back, this pedal back here, is gonna be 18 inches. So the distance it comes from your hitch receiver all the way back to the back of my seat is five feet. From the ground to the bottom of the, your tire is gonna be 19 and a half inches. You're gonna get a little bit more room just in case you do hit something. Uh, you're not gonna tag your bike on the way up. So the weight capacity, each one of these mounting brackets is gonna hold 37.5 pounds according to the manufacturer. That means that it's not for e-bikes and it's not for super heavy downhill bikes, unfortunately. I've totaled it all up for you. It's about 225 pounds. I'm about two 200 pounds and I'm not really worried about it. Assembling this rack is not too bad. It took me about 30 minutes. All of these just get bolted on. This section, this top mass part gets bolted in here. The bottom section bolted in here and then you can adjust the mass depending on your vehicle. Taking it on and off isn't too bad either but it does weigh about 70 pounds. Let's talk about securing the bikes. There's two sections that secure the bike. The first one is this Y rubber bracket. And this has to go in between your forks, comes up and then wraps the top section of your fork. On the bottom, there's a ratchet strap. It's just your normal ratchet strap, kind of like you find on, I don't know, your rollerblades in the 90s. Take these things, strap it through, and it's pretty much good. Some people do say that they have wear issues after a prolonged use, um, and that's just continued wear on the strap, it's rubber, it'll fade, but they did retrofit these, so the newer version has tougher straps. Okay, as far as your rack security, not necessarily securing your bike, but your rack security, there is a handle on the back section. I recommend doing this, it is throwing a cable through here, wrapping all of your bikes and your wheels, so you're gonna need a really large cable. Throw it through here, throw it through your frame and your wheels, Connect it on the back end, lock it in. The second section of security is, is the bottom section where the hitch pin is. It has a lock on it. It's not a beefy lock, but it's pretty good. And it has a key, so make sure you don't lose your key. Okay, let's go over some of the key features. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna look at is gonna be the positioning of your rack. So whether you have a truck, a midsize SUV, or a giant van like I have. So this rack has two positions. It's in the first position right now, or the second position right now, which is lean back a little bit. The first position, I can't put it in because uh, I have a bike on it. So this tire, is called. this is called the hangover. So this tire hangs over the front. So for trucks and midsize SUVs, this is great. If you have a Sprinter van, this might not be the best choice. They do have a hang tight, which will also be linked down below. And the hang tight, it actually hangs it by the handlebars and flips the tires out the other way. Third position that it has is not a recommended position to drive in. This is recommended to drive in and the one where it's straight up 90 degrees is able to drive in. The third position, which I'm gonna show you, is a lay flat. So this is the lay flat position. This doesn't technically lay all the way flat, but it does enable me to at the very least, open my door. Now, if you do have a sprinter, this doesn't allow you to open your door all of the way. These bars, this bottom section of the mask does get in the way. Just so you guys know, if you have six bikes on here, pushing it up to that next position is gonna be quite hard. There are no dampers for it to come down. So there is a rack that has dampers. This is not that rack. And coming back up, you're gonna have to use two people if this thing's fully stacked. The other key feature that I'm gonna recommend is that you load your bikes from left to right. Yakima also recommends this. It makes it a lot easier because all of these mounts are slanted to the right. The last key feature that I'm gonna go over is really much more of a gimmick than it is a feature. It does have two sections cut out right here for bottle opener. Okay, let's go over all of the pros and the cons. First, we'll do the pros. So there's four pros to this. 
One, this is great for mountain bikers who have tons of friends and wanna load all their bikes on this rack. The second one is this is a great bike rack for people who have kids or a lot of kids, but those kids have to be a little bit older. If they're younger and use an 18 inch bike or 16 or 12 or lower, this bike rack will not allow for that. It'll only be 20 inches and above, all the way to a fat tire bike, but you gotta be careful of weight. The third pro is that it has pretty good ground clearance. It's only 15 inches off the ground and 18 inches off your back bumper, so you should be pretty good as far as clearance. Now, you are gonna tag it on some stuff if you start going off-roading with this. It does recommend that you don't. Okay, let's go over the cons. We have four cons. The first con is gonna be that this isn't great for families who have kids that are riding 18 inch bikes or below. The second con is that this bike rack doesn't go fully flat. So even when all the bikes are off, it only goes to about maybe 15 degrees, which doesn't allow me to open the back of my doors. Third con for this bike rack, it has a 37 pound weight rating, or 37.5 pound weight rating for each section, each mounting point. This doesn't allow you to put e-bikes or really any like giant fat bikes. This will also exclude some of your downhill bikes. So downhillers, beware. The fourth and last con is gonna be basically that if you're shorter, this rack might not be for you maybe look at like a tray system. So we've gone over everything and I've given you my thoughts on what I think about this rack. Ultimately, I think that the Yakimo Hangover 6 is for someone who has a midsize SUV or a truck and is a mountain bike enthusiast with a lot of mountain biking friends. Or if you're just gonna take your family with older kids to the trail. That's all we got for the Yakima Hangover 6. Hope you guys enjoyed this and found value in it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'll see you on the next one.